Right, so last time, uh, except denting the fucking hell of the car, we also found out that maybe drifting on real wheel drive will be effective. So we got super sport tires, and I've got super sport tires everywhere. Uh, I'm going to do a, a, a quick sell of these. I'm going to buy... Fuck off! Mm. That's how you're supposed to start, boys. Yeah, I, this is not even a start episode. Like, what is what is going on, everybody? <laughs> I forgot about that part. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is buy Super Sports because I want to try just Super Sport drifting this thing. Um, and what else? What else? Also, I'm gonna try as uh, Henry's Henry's <laughs> as Henry. Henry's performance said, um, uh, suggested I should try a smaller rim. So I'm gonna try and uh, try a smaller rim. I'm gonna try a smaller rim. Don't tell me it crashed. Maybe it crashed. I don't know. There's no indication of it working right now. Oh. It didn't crash. That was good. <laughs> That's good. So we're gonna do more testing so I'm gonna go get a nice a nice street compound regular super sport regular super sport 19 we're gonna get a regular 18 as well I'm also going to do go to go and buy 19 and 18 drifts and I'm going to buy a nice Soft compound, not a drag tire, but a soft compound. 18 and 19. That's a 18 soft compound and a 19 soft compound. We also need a set of 18 inch rims for this car. Uh, the reason I would like to have as much as grip as I can in the front end, because we were understeering extremely last time. Obviously, last time I had. Uh, front tires that are uh, less than ideal, not even less than ideal. They were uh, about to fucking fall apart. So you know, uh, let's not let's not try do that and then try do that again. What are these BBS forged Mustang wheels? These look like BMW wheels. Ah, maybe game is lying. Hmm. Maybe Mustang is lying. Maybe BBSs are lying. Uh, there you go, BMW rims, but none of these look very particularly good. These are 18s, right? This hopefully, I went, went into the right place, the 18 rim place. I don't know why I'm spending so much time, but, you know, I just want the cars to look good, man. I want this car to... Right. Let's buy some BMW rims. So, we are down to $10,000. We've bought a lot of tires, rims, setups. So, first setup I would like to try is just... Regular old, regular old, super sport. Fucking you mean? Oh, that's at 18s. Regular super sport on the car. Com right, super sport, super sport, super sport, super sport. We are real wheel driving completely. Yep. So let's see. Let's see how it does. How this does? Because uh, we got we've got a lot of fucking different. Um, different tests to do but uh, I don't want to do Shinjuku I'm going to go to my favorite track as of right now and that is Nico circuit if I find it there it is there we go one lap Nico one lap that's perfect for us we don't need anything else in life than one lap on Nico with my LS S13 so let's see how it does here oh, that's a bit too come on so with the so with this setup, you need to be going quite fast to to start drifting, and uh, the angle it, it's not smooth drifting. It's not smooth drifting. It is drifting at least, but still, as you can see, like the car is very unstable. At least we're not understeering like before. Oh, still a bit of understeer there. At least we're not understeering like before. So. Um, downshift this corner this is the first time I've ever successfully taken this corner so that's good at least all right all right oh the finish lines over there 
My car is a bit bent there. Uh, when, uh, when did I crash for minus $100? Whatever. That's still good, man. We made 2.5k just out of fucking thin air there for one lap. So, I'm going to keep the Super Sports on the front. And I'm going to go and uh, buy... I'm going to install the Drift. These are 18s. I'm going to install the Drift. 19... Did I buy just... Two? Oh, there we go. Why does it jump down, man? I fucking hate that. Why would you leave that in there? Uh, drift tire 19. Right, let's try the drift on Nico for one lap again. Um, with the drift tire, I'm hoping a bit more driftability. It's less switchiness, but it's probably not going to be too good uh, with the lack of control of the front wheel drive, uh, the rear wheel drive. Yeah. If I want to go really slow, if I want to drift really slowly, it's good, but it's like I'm on ice. He says nothing to do with, like, anything with real, 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 real life drifting. It feels like you're doing a, a moving burnout. That's how it feels like. It's not really doing anything. It's like I have ice underneath me. Like, I'm just purposely doing a burn, uh, moving burnout. Yeah, this is definitely... You, we can definitely take this out of the... Uh, out of the running as an option. I mean, the car, like, I cannot straighten this thing out. Like, where am I right now? Drifting this is like your uh, first time drifter, right? That's how it feels like. You're watching who just you're watching somebody who just tried drifting for the first time. That's essentially what this is. Let's uh let's not waste our time with this fucking setup anymore. Still made money. It's good. It's, we got a good we got a clear Oh my god, the fucking cat. Uh so this is this goes down the drain as a setup. Why did it remove my whole tire though? Like straight up though? Like I'm fucking asking. So let's I'm gonna put the super sports back on. And we're going to do the last test of our 19-inch rims. I'm just going to put my the soft compound front tires that should be extremely grippy. Also look ridiculous. But they look extremely fucking ridiculous. That's fine. That's that's fine. That's fine. If this works, I'm gonna run 18s on the front so it looks a bit more re realistic. Um. It's ridiculous, but we should have like a ton of grip in front because super because soft tires are uh, a very good tire for grip racing. Uh, obviously, not the best tire. Uh, it depends on what kind of sports you're driving. Because if you're uh, if you're an F1, they there used to be. Right now, it's not like that, but there used to be like ultra soft, hyper soft, uh, <laughs> mega soft or something. Like there were a bunch of soft uh, options for soft tires. Uh, but you know, in a lot of most racing is just a soft tire is a soft tire. It's a it's a it's a racing tire. Oh my god. I don't know. Oh, oh, that was not bad. That was not the that was not the worst there. Something's breaking though in the in the hard drive. To be to be to be fair, like all three of my hard hard drives want want to fail like right now. So I mean, I'm not too surprised. You know, at some point there might stop. The videos might stop coming out. I'm just gonna warn you guys. So that was not the worst thing. That was not the worst thing ever. What if we do? Where are the M Technique BMWs? Uh, no, the CSL BMWs. Let's install one there with fitted with um, not drift tires but super sports. It's not a drift tire. Where is the 18 super sport? And another another BMW rim with an 18 super sport. There we go. All right. You know th this is why I don't want to run 18s because it looks ridiculous. You know, half the game in drifting is for your car to look nice. Obviously, we're in a budget drift situation where uh, the car won't look nice, but 
let's throw the, the, the drift tire, let's throw the, yeah, the, you know, fucking do it like that. Right now, um, the best setup we've had was all your drive. <laughs> the best feeling and the best looking setup was all your drive, but the, the soft compound uh, with, with super sports on the rear end was good. This looks ridiculous. This looks absolutely fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. I don't even know what I'm, what I'm, what am I, what am I supposed to say in this situation, dude? The car looks awful. I'm gonna put super sports on the front end and air them down. Hopefully that will help. I should probably air down the rear ends as well. Hmm. There might actually be a difference with worth you know there might be a worthwhile difference going with 18s because the car is the car does feel like very oh yeah we had to drop the tire there but the car feels nice the car does feel definitely nice do a nice monji come on don't 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 die now don't don't fake news me Oh, sideways. All right, all right, all right. That that felt that felt nice. That felt nice. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That felt nice. So let's do one of these. Let's install the uh, eighteen-inch regular super sports. Let us do one of these. Go down to one bar, 1.1 bar, which is very, very, very flatty. We're going down to one bar, and when we go to the rear end, let's go down to 1.6 bars for a bit more grip. No, actually, do we want more grip on the rear end? I don't think we want more grip on. Let me just try 1.8 because I feel like a lot of the twitchiness comes from the rear end. The car looks ridiculous. To be fair, it's very, very broken, so it's not gonna not look ridiculous. But right, this is this is two episodes in a row where there is a lot of setup changes and a lot of setup management, which uh, includes a lot of drifting as well. So I think that it's not a problem for you guys. Come on, it's in the steering on the front end. You can see just how much. Like uh, steering input, I have to do to keep it in a drift mode. Right, this is not bad actually. Obviously, Nico is a very straightforward circuit, so uh, it would need, we would need to test it out on other on, on other circuits. But I think I found uh, a good setup. Oh, we locked up there very hard. You know, just do a little bit of cur curb jumping. It's still not as precise as on rear wheel all wheel drive, but that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I think I'm gonna keep this setup for now. I think this is gonna be the test setup, and next episode we're going to go on a few different uh, locations, adventures to test out this uh, setup and how well it does. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this episode, and I shall see you in the next one.